January 2007, Apple's Steve Jobs kicks off the year with a major announcement. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. The wait for the iPhone is finally over. It's clearly one of the most anticipated gadgets in decades, but can it live up to the hype? Industry experts are predicting that the iPhone could be the cell phone killer, with a list of impressive features such as a 3.5-inch widescreen display, Apple's Safari web browser, and a multi-touch display to let you control everything using only your fingers. But some tech experts are already buzzing about potential pitfalls. An expensive price tag, limited high-speed data network support, keyboard interface problems, flash incompatibility, and a two-year exclusive contract with AT&T are just a few shortcomings that could hinder Apple's success. Can the iPhone really deliver a state-of-the-art interface that truly revolutionizes cell phone technology? Or is Apple biting off more than it can chew? Love it or leave it, the iPhone is here and the world may never be the same. All right, right now, let's go over to Zach Selwyn, who's live at the Manhattan Apple Store on Fifth Avenue. Selwyn. So, Selwyn, has there been any bloodshed yet? You know, it's actually been pretty mellow considering the amount of people that are here, Olivia. Uh, the media actually probably got the craziest jockeying for position. I had to give a forearm shiver to Gideon Yago of MTV News. He went down like a sack of potatoes. But I also got to talk to some of the people in line who got here real early. Check it out. All right, it's almost 6 p.m. The witching hour is upon iPhone lovers everywhere. And these people in New York City have been online for hours, even days, trying to become the first to get their hands on the new iPhone. My man, you got a Krispy Kreme box. What's going on here? We're promoting the flight of the phone list. The phone list. There you go. Help the phone list. Well, you know what? I don't have a phone. So I'm going to take this. I appreciate it. Let's go check out the front of the line. All right, it's 6 o'clock. The doors are open. Now let's talk to one of these people who was lucky enough to score an iPhone. The line is still around the corner. Apple stockholders are very happy, and I'm here with Rebecca, one of the early adopters of the iPhone. You were there immediately. I saw you. Yeah. Tuesday. What's today? This Friday. Well done. That's three days. I've been waiting a long time. Nice. Now, you were like third or fourth in line, right? Yeah, fourth. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, how long have you been anticipating the iPhone release? Um, pretty much since January. <laughs> when they announced it? Yeah. Nice. Four gig? What would you get? The eight gig? What's going on? Oh, here? I would not buy a four. You gotta get the eight. You gotta get the eight, people. You gotta get the eight. Excellent. So you got here Tuesday. Where have you been eating? You've just been peeing in the street, that kind of thing. Well, you know, Apple's open 24 hours, so if I didn't do anything other besides pee, I'd go in there. <laughs> nice. But um, no, people bring us food. And they let us use the internet in there. It's been great. Cool, man. And what about this uh, this phone right here? What is it that made you want to just get here three days early to buy this thing? Well, my boyfriend made me want to get here three days early so that I would wait for him. <laughs> I hope you broke up with him and you're taking the iPhone. And his cash. Yeah, and the cash. <laughs> <laughs> but um, then I got to hold the phone and I love it. It's amazing. So it's you've already played with it? You already messed yeah, around with it? I got to. I got to play with it yesterday. What features are you most excited about? Uh, probably the video. Watch YouTube. That's what I'm saying. You do all the YouTube you want. Rebecca, congratulations. New York City, the Apple Store. Go have fun with that. I hear it takes like five days to learn, so you have another week ahead of you. Yeah, it'll probably take me ten. <laughs> nice. Well, she can admit, she's a little challenged in the electronic world. We got more coming up right after this. Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4.